Here we are, we're out here uh, in the middle of nowhere with Jim Jewell. We're gonna learn how to trap leeches here today. We've got uh, Jim in a 10 foot John boat, set oars. I'm out here in a canoe watching. Let's see how he does it. Just gonna scrape the leeches out of the folds, flick the old bait. There they are, just hanging out. Scrape them out, throw a little bit more bait in. We use beef liver, cured in salt. Throw a little rubber band on there. Toss it back in. There she goes, nothing to it. Every trapper has their companion. Jim has Jay. There he is. What do you think, Jay? Leech trapping is certainly not the most glorious job in the world. You can see that Jim doesn't use brand new equipment. In fact, this boat has probably been in use for better than 20 or 25 years. He uses what we refer to as a flat trap, which is a sheet of aluminum folded up, kind of like a paper accordion. He uses beef liver for bait. You can use fresh liver, or Jim actually grinds his up and cures it with salt. Now one thing about leeches is that they won't go after spoiled meat, as odd as that seems, but they like their meat fresh just like you and I do. tried to zoom in and get a little bit of a little bit of an overhead shot you can see this trap is in shallow water some traps are in deeper water you have to learn the tendencies of leeches very much like when you're out fishing depending on the weather leeches might trap leeches might not trap depending, depending on the water temperature sometimes leeches grow a little bit faster and bigger and sometimes they don't grow much at all you just kind of have to be out there finding them and that's what leech trappers do Got all those leeches that he caught today on a screen that floats in the water and he'll let it sit until all those that have not grown large enough that are too small they'll go through the bottom the big ones will stay up top we'll take those out and then we'll take them home and get them in the bait shed ready for processing